It's about God, pod. It's about God. 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 He gave me life. He gave me Christ. Yeah. Baptized with Christ. I have new life. Yeah, yeah. Power in the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, noon, and night, listen to my pod, yeah. Got me and sealed me, I will never walk away again. again. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, he washed away my sin. My help comes from up above. above. My father showed me nothing but love. love. Jesus, I will never leave you, never, never let you down. I fell down, got, got back up, up from off of that ground. Tune in every, Tune in every day. day, cause it's about God. It's about God, pod, it's about God. It's about God, pod. It's about God. It's about God, pod. It's about God. It's about God, pod. It's about God. Yeah. Hebrews 13 and 5. It says, Let your conduct be without covetedness. Be content with such things as you have. Contentment is a decision to be happy with what you already have. But I'm convinced most people are not truly content. Unbelievers certainly aren't content, whether they realize it or not, but it's a very sad circumstance. I wonder how many people could truly say I'm happy with my life. Love my spouse and my family. I love my job. I'm satisfied with my house, satisfied with my car. There are things I want God to do for me, but I'm content to wait until he does them in his time I do not covet anything that belongs to my neighbor I'm not jealous of anyone else or envious of what they have God gave it to them then I want them to enjoy it also I want to help them to enjoy it by helping them to keep it I believe God actually tests us in this way Until we can pass his, I am happy for you because you are blessed test, we are never going to have any more than what we already have right now. Yes, God wants us to prosper in every way, but he wants people to see his goodness and how well he takes care of us. But we must desire God more than we desire his blessings. So he tests us to make sure this is the case before he releases greater material blessings into our lives. So be content with what you have because God has blessed you with it. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for everything that you've given us already. God, I can't think of nothing else that I want. God gave me life. He gave me his son, Jesus Christ. Christ on the cross. He died for my sins. He arose on the third day. And I believe in him. I trust in him. And I thank him for the Holy Spirit. That guides and directs me into all truths. Thank you Father God. For your love and your kindness. And everything that you show us every day. Even though we're not worthy of it. Thank you Father God. In Jesus name. I love you. Amen and amen. Thank you.